Question 23. A supermarket sold 530 packets of milk daily when the price was 50 shillings per packet. Whenever the price per packet was increased by 4 shillings, the number of packets sold daily decreased by 20. If n represents the number of times the price was increased, a. Write an expression in terms of n for 1. The price of a packet of milk after the price was increased. 2. The number of packets of milk sold after the price was increased. 3. The total sales in simplified expanded form after the price of a packet of milk was increased. B. Determine 1. The number of times the price was increased to attain maximum sales. 2. The price of a packet of milk for maximum sales. And 3. The maximum sales. Those are the questions. Let's go to the first part. Write an expression in terms of N for the price of a packet of milk after the price was increased. Now you're already given the number of packets sold daily when the price was 50. Then whenever the price of packet was increased by 4 shillings, the number of packets sold decreases by 20. Then you're given N represent the number of times the price was increased. How do you get the price of a packet of milk after the price was increased? So we need to go to the original price of a packet of milk. One packet was initially 50 shillings. Then it was increased by 4 shillings. 4 shillings. And then we don't know the number of times it was increased and you're given that n should represent the number of times the price was increased so if it was increased by four shillings per packet we need to multiply by n n representing the number of times it was increased by four shillings so this will be given by four times n and it will be 4n now the new price after the increase will be given by 50 plus 4n Part 2. The number of packets of milk sold after the price was increased. How many packets were there before? The, the supermarket sold 530 packets. That was the initial number of packets, 530. And then you're told, what happens to the packets? Uh, whenever the price per packet increased by 4, the number of packets sold here we, here we get the expression the number of packets sold decreases by 20 so if it decreases by 20 shillings now by 20 not by 20 shillings but by 20 packets so initially there were 530 packets so after the increase by 4 shillings the number of packets decreased by 20 so it will be 20 multiplied by a certain number of times so the packets also increased by 20 us for a given number of times which you are given as n so it will be 20 n so therefore the number of packets now sold after the price was increased decreased and became 530 minus 20 n now this is the number of packets after the price was increased so those are the two expressions which are very important but you need to be very careful when you're forming these expressions because it is from these expressions uh, that will determine the way you progress to answer the other questions. Now let's go to the total sales in simplified expanded form, that is part 3, the total sales in simplified expanded form after the price of a packet was increased. So how do we get the total sales? Sales will be given by the number of packets that was sold, we already have it in part 2, then the price of one packet, the price of one packet after the price was increased was, this was the price of one packet, and then multiply by all the packets sold after the increase, which is represented by part 2, that is a 530 minus 20n. So when we multiply these, 50 plus 4n representing the price per packet after the increase, then 530 minus 2n, 20n, that is the number of packets after the price increase. 
when you multiply these we get the total sales so we just need to expand these so this would be 50 5 by 5 530 minus 20n plus 4n 530 minus 20n so this will give 50 times 530 26500 minus um, 1000 n plus to give 2120 n minus 80 n squared so when you uh, organize these and to form a quadratic equation you'll get it as uh, 80 n squared minus 11 20 n minus 26 500 so that is the expression in expanded form that represent uh, the total sales part b determine one the number of times the price was increased to attain maximum sales the number of times so remember the number of times is represented by n and um, there's a concept very important concept that is being um, just here uh, when you read the question the number of times the price was increased to attain maximum sales so i would be very careful and think uh, of the concept that you're going to use to get uh, the maximum sales and here we're going to use uh, calculus we are going to apply calculus and this is how we're going to do it at maximum sales at maximum sales at maximum sales when we differentiate take this expression we already have the expression for the total sales and uh, the total sales that is s is represented by 80 n squared minus 11 20 n minus 26 500 so at maximum sales uh, if you get this uh, differential function that is uh, we differentiate the sales with the respect to n that one should give us zero at maximum sales ds or dn is equals to zero when you differentiate this um, function of s with respect to n and get zero this is where we shall have maximum sales so let us differentiate these uh, we have 80 n squared minus 11 20 n minus 26 500 we differentiate that s with respect to n we'll get 160 n minus 11 20. now this one should be equated to zero to give uh, maximum sales and uh, this will give uh, 160 n is equals to 11 20 and n will be given by 7 so the number of times the price was increased to attain maximum sales will be seven times and the concept they have used here is um, calculus at maximum sales when you differentiate uh, the sales with respect to number of times it should give us zero then after doing that the price of a packet that is part two the price of a packet of milk for maximum sales the price of a packet of milk uh, for maximum sales so already we have uh, the price of a packet after the increase it was uh, in the first part 50 plus 4n 50 plus 4n this is what represents the price of a packet after the increase so we just need to substitute n with 7 and this will give uh, 78 that is the price uh, that will give maximum sales then, so how do we get the maximum sales we already have the expression for the maximum sales in part 3 so maximum sales given by s is equals to so s is equals to 80 n squared minus 11 20 n minus 26,500 so that is expression for maximum sales so we already have n n is 7 
so it is 80 just substitute and it's 7 and uh, when you work out these using a calculator 18 to bracket 7 squared minus 11 20 multiplied by 7 minus 26 500 you'll get uh, maximum sales to be 30 400 and 20 so that is uh, how you're supposed to solve that question